everybody, this is David B 69 and welcome to something different. It's not a unboxing, it's a hundred dollar, one hundred dollar NES challenge. What is a hundred dollar NES challenge? Well, let's say you just bought a brand new NES and you have no games to spend for, to play for it. Well, if you had a hundred dollars, these are the games that I personally this is me personally, would recommend you use that $100 on. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First game, you know it's going to be a sports game. It is my favorite baseball game. It is Bad News Baseball. I love this game. I love the bunny. I love the action. It feels really good, and it's very arcadey, but very, very fun. I highly recommend this game. It costs $12.90 according to price charting, which is where we're gauging all the price values for these games. Um, so yeah, $12.90. So it's like, it's a good, that's a good value right from the get-go. Next up, and I just recently got this, and I got, I got it for free from Lukey Games. It's Maniac Mansion. This game is absolutely fantastic. It is valued at $20.50 on price charting. And it is like an absolute favorite game of mine. Um, it's basically you click around, you choose your options and basically run along the story. And it's like, it is just a tremendous fun. Um, very puzzly, very fun. I highly recommend it. And it's Basically, it's $20.50, which brings a total to $33.40 if you're adding along. Next up is also a must-have. If you have an NES, you need to own this game because it is the best game out there. It is Super Mario Brothers 3. This game is valued at $15.31. Not so much. But the reason being is because there's like 5 million copies out here. So there's a lot of copies and pretty much it's almost one to one of the console. So you can basically pretty much get it and it's pretty, it's pretty cheap. Um, basically it's $15.31, which brings the total to $48.71. Like I said, it's a really good value. These are like really, really top edge games and you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Next up is like another one of my favorites, and of course it's another sport game. It is Tecmo Super Bowl. Tecmo Super Bowl is a little bit more expensive than that. It's probably it is the most expensive in this whole grouping of games, believe it or not. It is twenty-one dollars and eight cents. But this is like a fantastic football game. Um, with the NFL PA license and it's like all these players, it's like really, really cool. Um, but that, that brings up our total to $69 and 79 cents. So like it, we're basically at four games that's, and we're at $69 already. So money flies like nobody's business here. Um, next up that I highly recommend is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. This game is absolutely fantastic. It's a must-own game if you have an NES. Um, it is valued at $13.49, um, which brings our total to $83.28. I highly recommend it. It's a great side-scrolling uh, fighting game um, where you basically are out to win and beat uh was it krang um the boss i forget and everything who the final boss was um but yeah it, it's a great it's a great game it's a great game I, I love i love this game and it's highly enjoyable and it's great side scrolling fighting um and you'd really like it next is another sport game I, i'm warning you sports titles galore um ice hockey Ice hockey is worth $3.18. So yeah, it's like very valued, very low. But, but you're getting a lot of bang for your buck out of this game. You get to choose three different type of players. And it's a must-have 
game and to play like one-on-one -on -one against somebody because you'll have hours and hours of entertainment um great side scroll in hockey and uh yeah it's it's really just funny and it's basically really loose on the rules so i highly recommend ice hockey at three dollars 18 cents bring a total to 86 dollars 46 cents and our last game that i highly recommend is the arcade game burger time Burger Time is a tremendous, tremendous game. You're basically around basically making burgers, uh, throwing um, pepper on uh, different bad guys and trying to capture them in your burger and you get extra points and you just go each level and you try to make burgers and burgers and more burgers, which is like my ultimate day. And it's valued at $13.51 and basically wrapping up our total to... $99.97, which is like an actual incredible thing. And you would get these seven games and you'd basically be doing like really, really good for yourself. I mean, this is a great start for anybody's collection and I highly recommend it. So until next time, this is David B 69 and I'm out.